the Lord rejoicing in the power of the Spirit and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be upon you and remain with you forever. Next to the human voice, the drum is the oldest musical instrument. Its unprecedented ability to remain relevant and move people at the core, regardless of where and when it is placed in history, is perhaps why the African people have been able to endure so much. Here we see the drummer is playing in honor of the first African-American Episcopal priest. The people aren't exactly dancing in the aisles, but I would suspect somewhere, somehow, the pulse of the rhythm is having its effect. Throughout African history, the rhythms of the drums have been a healing power. Ola Tunji, a master of drums from West Africa said, Where I come from, we say that rhythm is the soul of life, because the whole universe revolves around rhythm. When we get out of rhythm, that's when we get into trouble. For this reason, the drum next to the human voice is our most important instrument. Today we are reminded the power of the African drummer is still a constant. We see that the appeal of their rhythms are universal. In a time when many things don't make sense, the drums to many people still do. In Central Park, people are drawn to the rhythms that remind all of our tribal roots. Roots perhaps not as far away as some believe. Olatunji believes that every cell in our body is influenced by the rhythms that surround us. The vibrations from the pounding rhythms of drums are able to influence people on that cellular level. With the right drumming, people's moods can be altered greatly. With the right drumming, a depressed person may get up and dance and smile. Here in New Zealand, a group performs a social dance and rhythm originally from Ghana, West Africa. The movement of the dancers, gestures and motion move energy throughout and around the body maximizing the drum's positive vibrations. In African drumming, there is no single rhythm that can provide a complete focus. And in the sense, there is no central point of unity except God. And into the gaps between the notes, God places his contrib contribution, trying to ever open up the music further it is God's drum which beats the note that is never sounded.
and perhaps while we're busy in the Western world trying to heal places like Sudan, what we really need to realize is that the drum is here to heal us as well.